Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, King Havo. Uh, I've been working on an APF 2K8 editor and just wanted to say a special thanks to uh, some of the community guys out there uh, who've been helping me get uh, a few of these uncovered attributes and abilities and things that they've been working on to improve the game and to make it to make it more enjoyable and what I thought I'd do tonight is make a quick video on the new editor and where I'm at with it. Uh, I've been working primarily to try and do things that were beyond the scope of what Finn's editor did, which is what I'm showing you here. He had a lot of the, the equipment, the, the basic player appearance, uh, the attributes, and all the default abilities. A lot of things have been uncovered since then, and I've been working towards adding those Delta items first, and then later on I'm going to come back and fill out the rest of the things to make it a complete uh, application. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started and kind of show you a quick tour of the editor. Alright, so here it is loaded up. It looks very similar to Finn's. I kind of used that as my template and initially you're going to get just a blank screen. You can change your options which are in here. You can pick your default team which I'm not sure if I have that turned on yet. Um, and you can set the auto backup to automatically back up your files and you can also do large attributes which I think I have disabled but if you see this button I would just kind of ignore it for now this options button it's also in the tools menu under options and what you could do is you could either drag a file in as I'll show you here or you can uh, just go to the menu and do file open if you want to open a new file so let me just go to my rosters real quick and get my one of my uh, rosters I'm using for the CAG league All right, so first thing it's going to do is ask you if you want to go into online mode. I may actually take this out because, because I'm not really finished with the offline mode. First thing you're going to see is uh, with this option here, you're going to have the ability to either go online mode or go offline mode. And the difference between the two is that online mode locks down the player name editing and the team editing where you can't just go and change someone's name using the keyboard. You have to actually pick another person's name in the game or team in the game, in the actual game, or else it won't work online. So I'll show you online mode, which is what, what's going to be released with the, uh, with the beta version. If I hit yes here, here's the screen. It's loaded. I already went ahead and changed the Americans to be the Steelers. So that's why you're seeing this logo here. If you pick an NFL team, It'll show the actual logo of the team. So if you actually were to type in Steelers or pick Steelers, it'll show the Steelers logo on the top right. You have everything here kind of the same way that Finn's was. You have all of the different options. You have your first name, last name, team, position, jersey, tier, whether it's gold, bronze, silver, or, or generic. Uh, and then you have more options here. Play by play, I put the names in instead of the numbers. And if there is no name, then you're gonna see you're gonna see a number there. Same thing with photo. You can see how this guy has a number and this guy actually has a name. So if you don't have a number, then you'll get uh, the name. I'm sorry. If you get if you can find the name, you'll you'll see the name. If you don't see that there's an actual real legend name there, then you're gonna get the actual number, which is what you see in Finn's editor. Uh, college is brand new. I put that in there. Uh, as far as things that are not in Finn's editor. So you'll see that here. Um, so you can pick colleges. So this is like the main grid. Right now you're looking at the Steelers. I've actually done it where I separated the team. So if you hit next, you're going to see all the different teams broken out into player sections. So these are all the computer teams. And one cool thing you can do here is if you right click on the, the team logo, it's going to take you to 
a choice of options to pick from any team. You can go to all the players, all 1,806 players in the game, and you'll see them all on this list here. Or you can pick any one of these teams. These are all the main CPU teams right here. And then you have your created on the right, your eight created teams right here. These are all just basically space, um, taking space for now, and I have them pointing to all players. So let's pick my Bills team here. And this is the team I'm working with. I really haven't done anything with the generics yet, but I plan on doing so. Um, but this is just a quick breakdown of the of the players, uh, the the main player grid. Next, you have here is the options, and here's where you can work on changing the team name from like the Americans to the Steelers or Eagles or what have you. And uh, you also have a way to change the stadiums. So. You're in online mode right now, so online mode has this locked down. You see the team name and team city are locked down. What you can do though is if you click on this ellipse button here, you'll get a list of all of the NFL teams that are really in the in the game in the hex file. And you can choose any one of these, and if you choose any one of them, then you're gonna get that as your team. Um, the city is locked down right now, but we have control over that as a created team. So I made my team the Buffalo uh, Bulls, I think, or the Buffalo Bison. And I basically changed them to be the Bills. So as a created team, all you got to do really is change the, the team name and not the city because you can do that on the on the game. Playbooks are locked down. Logos are locked down. Default jersey and play-by-play, -play, they're all locked down because I haven't gotten to those yet. Stadium, I just added in last night. I basically have a picture of every stadium now, so if you want to add a stadium to a CPU team or created team, you can do so. And you can go through the editor. Right now I'm hitting the down arrow on the keyboard, and you can go through every single stadium in the game, and you can see an actual picture representation to give you a better idea of what the, what the stadium looks like when you're picking your stadiums for the team. Um, I did this, I know it's in the game, but for the computers uh, teams, you can't really change it. So this definitely is a good option for the computer teams. And then for the created, it's just a simple way to change it without going into your actual editing of a team and messing up all your generics and going through that whole save process. So I thought this feature was kind of nice. And then about is just a screenshot of the, the, uh, the game package. Um, insert so that's just basically an image there all right so if you want you can go to the global editor I haven't changed I haven't really tested this yet but it's from my 2k4 editor and by clicking on this globe icon here or going to tools global editor um, well not global editor this is gonna yeah global ed editor attribute sorry this will take you to the global editor. And what you can do in here is you can pick, you know, if you want to go to a certain team or you want to like take all the QBs and bump them up, bump up their, their running, um, their speed, let's say. You just go to all teams, just like Finn's old 2K5 editor, you pick QB, pick speed, and say I want to bump them up 10%. You do that, and you're going to bump them up 10% by clicking OK here. I haven't really even tested it, so it failed. <laughs> so there you go. So this is available. It's going to work. I just really haven't even tested it, and uh, but it's going to be a simple addition. So for right now, this may not be working, as you can tell, but uh, it will be with the final release. Um, you can also select players at a time by holding the control or you can just highlight you can drag columns around as well if you want to move columns around so if I want to pick these players and I want to do a global edit then sorry I don't hit the globe I hit player editor so you hit this one next to it and now you got just those three players hope that makes sense um, this is going to be fixed, like I said, but if you look at Finn's 2K5 editor, it allows you to change all sorts of attributes 
globally on the fly. You're also going to have the ability to change weights. So if you want to update everybody's weight using, um, I don't know why that didn't come up, so that might not be working either, but auto update is what I wanted to go. So if you go to auto update, you can disregard these three here, but they will eventually hopefully work. But these bottom two, body type by weight, body type by BMI, what it's going to do is basically update every player's body type. So skinny, normal, large, based on their weight. And then I also have one here based on their, their BMI, their height and their weight. So that's going to update all the players and the whole roster based on those formulas. And I haven't tested this out either, but you, know, you can give it a try and see if it works once you get the editor. One thing you could do also is you can search for players. So if you want to do control F, you can do that like that, or you can hit this search magnifying glass here, or you can come to search. What's cool about this is if I want to find like Thurman Thomas, I can just put Thomas and it'll find everybody in here, one of them being Thurman. If I want to find, you know, John, first name, and I want to find people that are QBs, I can do that, and it's going to pull back these two QBs. So you have search options. Some of them are locked down, um, so I didn't open them up yet, but they'll be available once the editor's done. All right, so from here, we can go into the player editor. You double click and you get the player editor. I got the player's face here, um, if they have a face, and that's controlled by the P by P. Then I have all of the bio data. You have the college, you have the weight, the height, the position, the name, and the team logo up here, who they belong to. Um, these are all lockdowns. I didn't get to them yet, but I did figure out the ones that are here uh, so far. The first name, last name, play by play, photo, college. You got a list of all the colleges, and this is not included in Finn's editor. It's one of the new features. Um, and then you have the history, which this is locked down as well, and you can basically only pick histories that are in the game right now. Um, but this is working. So if you want to pick a certain history, you can. You want to give this guy Arizona 04 to 06. You can change it, and boom, he's got it. When you're in offline mode, you're going to be able to just type here. So, so the history is locked down. The last and first names are locked down um, because you're in online mode. Offline mode opens these up when you can type. Uh, first name, if you click on the one of these two for first or last name, you're going to get a pop-up. And this includes all the first and last names in the entire database of names in the system. And remember, these can all be used online. So if you want to edit all your generics on your team and you want to pick any one of these names, uh, you can change their name. Now, last names are in here and first names, so I can pick someone's last name and make it the guy's first name and vice versa. If I want to take this guy's last name and pick someone's first name like Al, sometimes it works, depending on the name, but I give you more options. You can also come in here and start searching. So if I want to search for um, Thomas again, I can do TH. It's going to start pulling up everything that's TH. If I want to pull up Montana, I can pull up Montana. So you have a quick search on here if you want to just start searching for people. And that's how you pick a name. I can just select here and boom, you got Adams. I can pick someone here and Akel. So there you go. Um, you got QB, you got positions. These should be working. Numbers should be working. Weights work, heights work, your tiers are right here, and your type of player. You have legend, created, generic, and then there are some players in the game that are generics but are not on a team. They're called gen no team. Okay? Lastly here, which is a cool feature on this first player information tab, is the face. So if you click on face you get this face picker. And it's pretty cool because in here I've taken a picture of every single player's face and you can start going through here and just picking people. And you can search same way as before. I just want Montana, so I get Montana. If I want Thurman, I get Thurman. 
I want Merino, I get Merino. You can also just go back to your default guy if you forget who you're on. Uncheck that, keep switching around. Now there are a lot of names in here. These are all the legend player faces. You even have some of the unlockables like Andre uh, Ryzen right here. Boom. He's in the game, but nobody knows about him. I tried to put other people in the game that um, like Chris Collinsworth, but I can't get their face to actually show up correctly. But if you pick him, you'll get the portrait. You'll get their actual picture, but the face might be distorted depending on if you're using a legend, I think. It messes up the actual face in game. So I got people like him in here. I have um, Siasen in here. And if they don't have a face, you're going to see they're going to get this icon here. So if I hit OK, it goes to here. They get that blank face. I threw that in there as a nice little, little touch. But if you pick someone like this guy, hit OK, boom, you get him. You pick someone here, boom, you get him here, and you get his name here. So John Brody. I want to pick Tom Brookshire. Tom Bro Brookshire goes under photo. Sorry, I, I looked at P by P, but it's photo. You can also do another example, this guy here, change. You can also do a drop down. And in this one, you can type in as well. Uh, but you got to type in, I think, from the back forward. So Thomas, so last name first, Marino. So you have typing abilities here. Same thing with play by play. You can do Marino, right? Go back to face picker. Another thing I put in here to make a little, a little bit easy to search, you can deselect all, you can select all. You can only pick, okay, you know what? I just want bald people in the game. So I got all bald people. Let's say I want all bald people with dark skin. I got my dark skin bald guys. Let's say I want, you know what? I want a white guy with bald. There you go, I got two. Maybe there's more, but there's two I have on here. Um, Let's say I want a white guy with blonde hair. There you go. Dark guy with blonde hair. Not in the game. Dennis Robbins not playing in this in this league, I guess. Uh, dark skin, dark hair. There you go. So you have ways of filtering down your list, and you can see the total number of players change over here depending on what you choose. If you want to go back to default, you go back to default, and boom, there you go. That's the face picker. Click on this button here. Uh, don't mind the rest of them that are disabled because those don't work. The ones with the ellipses work. They're part of the online mode. Next tab I did was uh, attributes. Attributes are all in here. As you can see in Finn's editor, he didn't have a way to just pick these things. You had to go in here and just start dragging. What I always, I always didn't like that, even though I give credit to Finn, he's the crown, groundbreaker on this. I never really liked this one thing, and I got to give him a little bit of criticism, criticism on this piece, but criticism on this piece, but this is just something that always would kind of annoy me. Um, so what I did is I made it to where you can just start typing. So I want this guy to be 10, 20, 50, and just tab through, 45, 45, 20, tab through. You can just keep tabbing. And keep changing. You can do shift tab and go up. So it's got a quick way to automatically just change things. And if you go beyond 100, you get that. If you go, you can go to zero if you want. But you have some controls in here to lock you down. Um, and Or you can do the track bar if you want. So you can do either or. And it highlights the whole row for you. So you know what you're on. So the one thing I liked about this is you can easily just go in here. I know you guys probably aren't going to mess with this too much, you CAD guys, but you know you can go in here and just start just tabbing your way through. If you mess up, it'll tell you. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, let me just see something real quick. All right, so basically that's the way that's the way it works. And then down here you have all your attributes, and what I've added that Fins didn't have which I'll, I'll show you over here is the uh, these other attributes down here so 
We're still working on the unknowns, but I put in kick style. So you got traditional or old school. Old school is where you just kick it with one leg without running. And then traditional is just the traditional style. So that's something that's new. You also have the, um, see he basically had it as, uh, this is attribute 25 for him and I put it as kick style. Uh, and then run style is, is this one. He's got a number um, option here and I have a drop down. So now you can do finesse, balance and power. Unknown 25 is that linebacker attribute that you guys are familiar with in some of the forums. So right now I just put unknown 25. And I don't lock it down by position, but I can down the road if we want to only show it for linebackers. Um, but there you go. And then I have the rest of them in here. And there's still one, two, three, four unknowns that we have to uncover. The last tab here is abilities. Um, I added the high helmet tackles. I obviously didn't add all these because they're all in here already in fins. But I will add them down the road. To save time, I just added the ones that weren't in here. High helmet tackles. If you click that, they got to get high helmet tackle option or ability. And then you have your player motions. Um, all your throwing styles are in here. These are just the names of people who have this style that I got from the forum. So Johnny United, Sammy Baugh, John Brody. That's his style. As you can see, we're on John Brody, so it picked it automatically. Then you have all these other styles in here. You have Troy Aikman, you have Dan Marino, you have John Elway, and I have all the way up to 11. Now, I don't know if all 11 work, but I pulled them out of the hex, and those are the, all the possible values you can have in that slot, so I put up to 11. Same thing with play action. It's only a couple that we know of, but I put all of them in here because the slots were available. We're going to need to do some testing to see if those things actually work. Um, high step style is the last style in here and basically you have four different options. I think there's two that we know about and there's two that are unknown but they're available. So I put them in the editor. You can try them out. See if you have a different style. So you have throwing style, play action, and high step. Then you have the head slap move done by Deacon Jones you can apply and you have a get low stance by Lester Hayes. Once again I didn't lock these down by position but you know you guys can can have at it and do your thing. Kind of rushing through this just to save some time and you know I got limited time so and I wanted to get it out so hopefully I'm not going too fast. You guys can leave comments and questions. Hit me up on you know, OS, Twitter, um, you know anywhere. YouTube, the CAG uh, forums and I'll be available. So that's pretty much the player editor you make your changes, you hit accept. If you hit cancel, you go back to where you were. Um, and I think that might be it for now. Hopefully I didn't go too fast, like I said, but a lot to cover and wanted to make sure you guys had uh, a quick tour of the editor and the things that are, that are new to it and what are coming out. Um, like I said, this is the online mode. Offline mode is a little bit different, um, and I can show you that really quick. So let me back out of this, and let's go to the on offline mode here. All right, so here's offline mode. I'm going to pick that same roster, and this time, whoops, let me just pick, let me pick one that uh, I don't care to mess up. So. Let me grab one of these guys. Oh, it's got to be a dot Ross extension. That's right. So um, let me just copy paste and let me pull one of these guys in. All right. So I'll drag this bad boy in and you, what you're going to do here is you're going to hit no. It's going to ask you, do you want to go into online mode? You can hit no. And I'll give you a warning. If you go into uh, offline mode by clicking yes here, it's going to rebuild the entire player database and it won't allow you to show those players online. So be very careful. When you hit yes here, it's going to automatically change your file. This is very important. This is going to mess up your file if you don't have it backed up. 